West, you know, wine has always been, at least in the last 30 years, treated, you know, with a lot of uh, dignity and uh, thoughtfulness and respect. And beer hasn't been accorded that same level of dignity and respect, but um, it obviously should be, and you guys wouldn't be here if you didn't uh, appreciate and understand that. Uh, and one of the things that we try to explain to people is that, uh, you know, beer is a simple agricultural product just like wine. And, and in particular, uh, hops have all the same uh, terroir issues that grapes have. All the same issues of soil, sunlight, daylight during the growing season, uh, moisture, uh, all the terroir issues that grapes do. And as a result, you know, hops really grew good hops can only be grown in a fairly limited number of areas uh, on the planet. Most of them around 40, 4 to 48 uh, degrees of latitude, southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere, so you have these, these hop belts. Um, and uh, just like with grapes, the best hops uh, for the classic beer style still come from their original growing areas um, in, in Bavaria and uh, in East Kent and London. So uh, this, we try to explain to people what hops are, because everybody knows that beer is made with hops, but very few people know what they are. Um, you, they don't know that they're a flower from a, a climbing perennial vine that is uh, a very uh, close botanical relative to marijuana. Um, uh, cannabis uh, lupulus, I think is the Latin name for hops. And so we you know, show them what they look like. Yeah, you can take some and smell it. Have you ever rubbed them or there's, or, 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 just grab a handful. And there's a, yeah, more than a few, just like a fair number. And, you know, I just came back from Germany a couple of weeks ago um, and sampled hundreds and hundreds of, of lots. You got to break up what you want is like marijuana. You want uh, the oils and resins that are deep within the flower. As you've been letting on stand. Yeah, this is, you don't want stems and leaves, but you want you know buds, sticky buds. With it. so you grind them up, and then you get the aroma. Alex, you got to break up the lupulin glands. These are traditionally considered You can. They actually have trace elements of THC in them, but they burn hot. So you need like a very large hookah. That's true. You can. It's an evil buzz. Um, but that's what you're looking for is that aroma, which comes. That yellow dust at the base. That's yeah. I've never held it. So no. Well, you probably have it Thank because you've been you brewing your own, right? Yeah, well, you usually don't brew with whole hops. Sometimes you can. Okay. But I have held them in like beer cloth before, but so, usually you brew with pellets. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. like the head cheese. This is really cool. Um, it's right. Uh, these are Hollow Town Middle Proof. These are the, they're called Noble Hops. They're the classic. Uh, original hops of the German lager brewing tradition. Um, and they're still, they were the hops that my great great grandfather brewed with. Um, they become sort of an heirloom hop, uh, if you will. We're the last significant brewer using Hollowtown Middle Brew uh, in any big quantity. We use over half of the Hollowtown Middle Brew hops in the world to go into Sam Adams because they're very expensive. The yields are very low, and the you know they don't they give you very complex uh, aromas and flavors. They're the hop equivalent of noble grapes of Grand Cru Vineyard. You know these are uh, the middle Cru hop and the Saz hop have provided genetic material for virtually every hop in the world. There's only a handful that don't have some lineage uh, from Saz. 
and metal fruit um, because they're the classic top aromas that you want in beer. They're sort of floral, fruity, uh, a little bit of soft citrus, like a tangerine or a lime. Um, it's a unique, you can't get noble hop aroma any other way than to get the heirloom hops from their original growing. And they're grown in the U.S., um, but they just don't have the same aroma. Is there a hop industry in this region?